Hello everyone, so this time I'm going to teach you how to calculate binomial probabilities using TI Inspire CX. So these are the models of the graphic display calculator that we use for IBDP Mathematics HL and SL. So the first one here is the TI Inspire CX while the other one is TI Inspire CX2. Now it's been prescribed that you don't buy the CAS Okay, but the CAS right now for TI Inspire CX2 can be deactivated so that you can use that during IBDP examinations. Now, uh, let's proceed. So, to find the probability of P of X equals X, that the variable takes the value X, we use the bi binomial probability distribution function, binom PDF and PX. So, later on, you will find out what does it mean by N, P or X. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use the graphic display calculator using this example. Assuming that the births of boys and girls are equally likely, calculate the probability that in a family of five children there are exactly two girls. Okay, so now let's try to identify the information that we can get from this problem. So first is uh, n is equal to five. Okay, so the number of trials is equal to 5, the family of 5 children. Now, uh, the probability of success is equal to 0.5. And uh, since the question is exactly two girls, then our rand and the, the value of the random variable is equal to 2. So this is actually assuming that our random variable is the number of boys, okay, number of boys. You can also make the number of girls as your random variable okay so the question now is the probability of x is equal to 2 all right so using the binomial formula in the past lesson that we had um, this is going to be combination of 5 taken 2 times 0.5 squared times 0.5 to the power of 3 okay so we will get the answer as 0.3125 or 0.313 in three significant figures Okay, now let's try to use the TI Inspire CX. So if you use TI Inspire CX, this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so we're going to find the function binom PDF. P is the probability distribution function, uh, N P X, where N is the number of trials, P is the probability of success, and then X is the value of the random variable. Okay, so it's going to be binom pdf 5 0 0.5 and then the value of x is equal to 2. So what we can do first is we add a page and then we use uh, add calculator all right and then from there we can go to menu all right this is the menu and then we use statistics and then we go to distributions and then we go down and then we look for binomial PDF. Okay, so after clicking that, the calculator will be asking you this information. Number of trials, N is 5. Probability of success is 0 0.5. And then the value of the random variable is 2. Then just press OK. Then we got 0 0.3125. Now, just in case you want uh, probability of x is equal to 3, what you can do is use the cursor, this one, use the cursor, and then you go up. All right. When you go up, as soon as you, as soon as this is highlighted, you can press enter, and then from there you can now change. Okay. You can change the number of trials. You can change the probability of success you can change the value of the random variable. So let's say I want probability of x is equal to 3 using the number of trials, the same number of trials, using the same probability of success. So change that to 3, and then it will give me also this, uh, the same probability. Why? Because 5 taken 3 is just the same as 5 taken 2. So now what about if probability of x is less than or equal to x? So to find the probability of this uh, variable that takes a value which is at most x, we use the binomial cumulative distribution function or the CDF, cumulative distribution function. So this one is used 
if what we want is the probability of x that is at most x or probability of x that is less than x all right so uh, from your GDC you will actually find you will actually see this binomial CDF NP0x okay so let's use this example to demonstrate how to use the, the calculator assuming that the births of boys and girls are equally likely calculate the probability that in family of five children there are at most four boys at most four boys meaning we are interested in finding the probability of x is less than or equal to 4. So again, we're going to use the binomial CDF. N stands for the number of trials. P is the probability of success. 0 is the lower bound. And then x is the upper bound. So probability of x is less than or equal to 4. So since this is a discrete random variable, the lower bound is 0. Okay? Then the upper bound, x is less than or equal to 4. All right, obviously the upper bound is going to be equal to 4. So same probability of success, which is 0.5. The number of trials is also 5. Now, it is equal to 0 0.969. Now, let me show you how to do it using the calculator itself. What we want is the uh, probability of x is less than or equal to 4. So it's the same, same thing. Go to the calculator page, then menu statistics, distributions, and then you go down. So after binomial PDF, you'll find the binomial CDF, okay? So CDF, again, stands for cumulative distribution function. Now, it will be asking you this information, n is equal to 5, probability of success is 0 0.5. Now, you can see here that the default value for the lower bound is 0, okay? So that is fine. And then the upper bound is 4, okay? So now it will give you the probability, which is 0 0.969, okay? Which is the probability of x is at most 4. Now, you can also solve this second example, which is the probability of x is less than or equal to 4 by uh, using the complement. Okay, and that is equal to 100% or 1 minus the probability of x equals 5 because the number of trials is equal to 5. So our maximum value for x is 5. So um, then you can use the binomial or the binom PDF to get the probability of x is equal to 5. All right, so just to verify. So 1 minus a uh, combination of 5 taken 5 times 0 0.5 to the power of 5 times 0 0.5 to the power of 0. And definitely we will be getting the same answer, which is 0 0.969. Well, let's go to example 3. Random variable x has distribution binomial 20, 0 0.35. So if you look at this notation, it means the random variable x is approximately binomial where n is equal to 20 and probability of success is 0 0.35. And what we want is the probability of x that is more than 8 but less than or equal to 12. Now just to illustrate, the probability of x is less than or equal to 12, that is cumulative, right, from 0 to 12, okay? So this is the probability of x is less than or equal to 12, which is probability of 0 up to the probability of 12, okay? Then uh, the probability of x is less than uh, 8 is this, okay? So which is probability of 0 up to the probability of 8, okay? Now, since x must be more than 8, so what we want is then the probability of 9 to the probability of 12, okay? So which means... The probability of x that is more than 8 but less than or equal to 12 is equal to probability of 9 plus probability of 10 plus probability of 11 plus probability of 12, all right? And uh, this means that we can get this value by getting the difference between the probability of x is less than or equal to 12 minus, which is the first one, minus the probability of x that is less than or equal to 8, all right? 
okay so that we can get probability of 9 up to the probability of 12 so having seen this or having this we can now use the binomial CDF and also for this we also use binomial CDF all right now if you have the calculator it will be much easier it will be much easier if you have the GDC especially if you're using TI inspire CX now let's take a look at how we are going to use the GDC to answer this one probability of X that is more than 8 but less than or equal to 12 so it's let's go to menu again statistics and then distributions and then since we are talking about a certain range so that would be binomial CDF right so it will be much easier if you're using PI inspire CX because all you need to do is just to input the necessary values where n is equal to 20 probability of success is given to be 0 0.35 and then the lower bound in that range is gonna be 9 okay because more than 8 it's not 8 more than 8 is going to be 9 and then less than or equal to 12 therefore the upper bound is 12 all right so this is what we meant also earlier by adding the probabilities from 9 up to 12 where the lower bound is 9 upper bound is 12 press ok and then there the probability is 0 0.232 all right so there you have it uh, just do more practice in using the graphic display calculator to find the binomial probabilities so thank you and see you again next time